What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to some Led Zeppelin, a legendary song that has been in our comment section since the beginning, probably, which is Black Dog. Today we're going to give it to you guys. We know you guys have been wanting this song for a minute, so here it is. All right. So Black Dog, this is I, the first I, one off of I Zeppelin think, 4. Yeah, and I think I had Zeppelin. I think everybody has Zeppelin 4, right? I think I had that and I think I remember liking Black uh Black Dog a lot, but I can't remember it's I remember tuned. it's been a long it time. Try, tell me and then I'm gonna, I'm and oh, see how much remember. I can remember. It's Go ahead the, and try it. Hey there, honey. That's it. Make you, make you, make you, make you, make you. I think that's Black Dog. It that, might be it. a different one, right, but so I think that's me, this one. For me, it's not my first time reacting, but it, it has been at least 10 years. I've heard that part. And, and not I've, on great headphones. I know how the riff goes, but I've, I've probably heard in total 30 seconds, maybe a minute. So And it's a five-minute song. So A five-minute song? All yeah. right, sweet. So here we go. No right. dilly-dallying this time. Uh We'll give credit to the entire comment section on our last yeah, video yeah. because everybody wants Black Dog. So uh, let's do it. Here it is. Well, I guess I was wrong. Unless he's going to come in and sing it. No, I think you're right. But I will say this before. I'm glad you stopped it right there. That is, listen, that is a banger intro. I haven't even heard the intro. Did, oh, I don't you know didn't what hear you... what he just did? It was like, it's almost like it's backwards. The way that that little tiny bit Well, let me hear sweet. it. Sweet. I don't know what you're talking about. Here we go. Hey, hey, mama said the I was right. Make you sweat, make you I mean, <laughs> this is like, you know how you say this is fire? This is like straight volcanic eruption. It is. Bro, this song. All right, listen. I'm going to let you comment. I got first. a lot of stuff to say on this please, one. Please, please. So, all right. Well, let's start with this riff. This riff is flames. The way they're playing it is crazy. The guitar tone, I don't know how on earth. I don't know even what that is. Um, The way they're playing it, I saw even something with Slash. He was trying to play it. And even if you listen to this, the way they play it is kind of weird. It's like a, it's like kind of out of off beat or something weird. It's like do 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 do. Like you get a little extra notes in there. Mm, um, mm -hmm. And Slash was like, "Yeah, I've played that song for years, but I never knew what the do 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 do. I never knew that part with all the notes. And I think That's it was like crazy, one of the members' sons or somebody told him like how to play it correctly. But um. Wow. But uh yeah, that's just crazy. Drums sound awesome. Um everything sounds great. I got to say the um the way they're playing it again is very sloppy. It's very sloppy. But that's what sounds so low good. down, dirty, I don't filthy know, rock and roll. How do they get it to I don't, I want to know are they purposefully in a studio like 
play kind of bad or play kind of sloppy because it sounds so sloppy, but or it sounds were they, so like, good. Were they drinking and stuff and it just made know. them play that way? Or do they just naturally play like that? I do not know. I think Jimmy must have naturally played that way. I'm mostly talking about the drummer, too, because he sounded, everybody sounds like just kind of It sounds like like the best song on the first album. And, and it it's sounds the fourth mixed. album. The it, way that it sounds, sounds so mixed, very weird too. Yeah, it sounds so uh, poorly, uh, but that's what sounds so good. Yeah, so garage band. It sounds mixed very poorly, dude. <clears throat> go, I, like to a fundamental if, in, engineer, audio engineer, like person, they would probably. What's be so like, great yeah. is on their fourth on their fourth album. Imagine how much they could have cleaned it up. Imagine yeah. had he went with a nice, clean, like clean sound uh, on his guitar. It would have ruined the song. <laughs> it would. It would. The song could. It I would still be a great the solo. solo. His, uh, his, his the uh, the tone that they chose that distorted sound on that I don't guitar. Know how they got that? that I've never heard anything. It like sounds that. the best word I can use is is the vibration. It's it's got a, a very weird like a vacuum hum to it. it does. I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to describe Cause it. Because it's both it's both a dark like mm, sound and then it also has a it also goes up. It's like it's, two tones. But there's also the bass in there for that low end and that bass sounds Maybe that's what I'm hearing. The bass is try to is try to the, listen in there. Or do you think the bass is playing the exact notes oh, yeah. as the guitar? Listen in there. Okay, that's probably what I'm the, picking uh, up on. Listen, try to listen through that loud, bloated guitar and try to hear the bass because the okay. bass is actually pretty, um, like simple sounding, but to, it sounds great. To me, it's the song is a ten, and 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 it's like a it's like it's like your friend <laughs> has a car he built in his garage, and then he cranks it, and that motor is just like. And you're so, like you're like oh you built this in your garage that's how it sounds like it was built in a garage and we know they were super famous when they made it yeah also, i think the i think the album might have started with the song i think um but i will say it is like when they start the do 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 it um it's kind of hard to catch your head going to it because when it, it goes do 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 i like three times in a row, I had to stop and restart. Well, because he, he says in the song what the song makes you do, which is the you're going oh 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 while you're listening to it. It's not a head thing. It's like a oh ah, oh. and then he comes in talking ah oh, ah oh, ah. Oh. He's like literally singing what your experience. And speaking of that, Robert just kills this song with his voice, bro. Yeah, like like. Not only did they get the riff right, not only did they blow your mind that way, but then Robert Plant is putting on a freaking vocal show, cuz. That first, when he does 40 uh, seconds, the first 30 or 40 <laughs> seconds, they're going insane. <laughs> they got the drums, the drummer switching it up, the riff came in hard. The yeah, first yeah, yeah, yeah. minute is so strong. And I think the first three seconds, but that I weird think, beginning they, they added I didn't really, I didn't really like that that Dude, much. I it think was kind of cool. weird. Let me run it back and hear it again. All right, well, remember where you're at. Are you ready?
Dang. They ended it with the never ending. They did fade out. Sweet emotion like um like instrumental solo at the end. That was crazy. That song, bro. That is like that's like, you know, I'm sure they were inducted into the Hall of Fame. If they played, I don't know if they did or not. I don't I don't know that part of rock history. But I think that's a contender to play as your as as one that's of your true. masterpiece songs. They could have played that. That yeah. song, they take all of their best. They don't make any mistakes and they they they, well, they technically use, they make a lot of mistakes. They use all <laughs> of their well, I'm saying they don't mess their song up with, yeah, a, with a weird yeah. moment. Yeah. Like all of a sudden some trumpets come in. You're know, like, really? You had it. Yeah. They don't ever, they never make that mistake. And uh, dude, Robert Plant goes freaking, they, they do so much During with the solo at, at the, the end, end. Every time he came in looping around in the uh, 360, he sounded so good. I know Axl Rose must have been grinding listening to some Zeppelin because later he does that to Slash constantly. He does. He sings over him the way same more than, way. Than the only does. thing he didn't steal from uh, 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 Robert is he uh, Axl doesn't do that much in, in your ears. No, he just gets that chainsaw going like, and like, dang, like Slash is going crazy. Give him a second. <laughs> uh, uh, what did you think about uh, Jimmy Page's uh, solo? I thought it was very interesting uh, way of doing the solo because that's not a fundamental um, like Daisy and Confuse, you know, just straight flames. Just fundamental, just shredding, shredding. But this one, I don't know. It was kind of weird. I think it sounded good, really good. But I don't know. It's gonna take a few more listens to um to, to, to me, fully understand. To it. me, it sounds like uh, there. But it's uh, unique. His, it's his, way more unique than Days and Confused. To me, his style of uh, playing is like if there was a music class and there were there were guitarists in there. There would be a couple of them where the teacher would be like, "Yo, you're gonna go far. You're gonna go far." And they would see Jimmy, and they would be, I don't, I don't think they would understand what he was doing. I think they would think, "Oh yeah, clean it up a little. Oh, and what you need to do is, yeah, yeah, you, 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 you know, you're leaning the wrong way for this. You know, your hand is is pulling. That's why you sound a little." And I think they would have ruined him. And oh, instead, like a teacher right. would have ruined him. And instead, he had. Every I don't know quality. if he got lessons or whatever happened with him or how he learned it or I somebody he, his he friend burned taught him. him. He burned the lessons and said, I'm going to play I don't know, the way I want to play it. Yeah, if he would have went to like lessons. Because he was a session player. He, it would have been beat been. out of him all his bad playing techniques that make him sound so good. Probably, I'm assuming he probably has some weird stuff going on. You we know? know that he can do all the precision and that's what makes it more impressive when yeah, he does this. Yeah, that's like Jimmy using an upside down guitar. If he was at lessons, they'd be like, "What are you doing? You don't play the guitar him, upside down." Him, they'd made him play right-handed instead of his normal left-handed. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, bro. I was talking about Jimi Hendrix right there, but yeah, yeah, I know you were. I was, I was clarifying for them because they're both yeah. called Jimmy. Boy, I know they know that. Every, you know, <clears throat> yeah. So, the drummer kills it, of course. Man, when he came in with that ding, 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 that little simple sound, he every is, time. He also. He, of all the of all the people playing drums, and I know he's considered maybe the number one, and I can see why he gets that spot. But he just has the, he knows when to hit the cymbal. He, he hits is it at not the shy time. when he hits a cymbal. He hits the crap. I bet he's bro- broken some cymbals before. He he does <laughs> like um what's it called on Days and Confused. The whole solo is just it sounds like rain. It does. <clears throat> It does. I, I wonder if, if if he made a particular, you know, symbols. I don't know a lot about drums, but I think symbols have like a de- like numbers. So like, I wonder if his is like, bro, that's his symbol, number sixteen. I don't know. or something is is the symbol that he uses. But that I will say knows. for this one, the bass should have been turned up. Like the bass, he sounded great. He had that same um, houses of the holy type of bass uh, yeah, tone, yeah. which is a beautiful bass tone. Way better than the bass tone on probably uh the, their first debut album, except for the of course doom doom doom. But does he need to do anything else though? That, ever? I mean, that's like what you get that right. But never again in that song it sounds that good. Right, right, but, right, um, right, right. But on House of the Holy, it carries that song in my opinion. It's probably the best part of the song. And for this one, he had that yeah. same tone that's so good. Turn the man up. Turn the well, man we, up. Well, we've learned that, right? We've learned that the P bass can cut through all the sound. But Does some, he use but, a P bass? No, I don't think he does. And some basses just, sometimes they get washed out, bro. Yeah. I mean, look what we've been saying about Motley. 
you can't even <laughs> hear the bass. Or like Metallica, we've been talking about that too, you know? You just don't even hear the bass, you know? <laughs> yeah. And man, sometimes they have good basses on there and they're trying so hard and you can't, it's like, excuse me. That's true. Oh. But you get that P bass and that thing will knock on like wood straight Roses. through. You can hear them in the song. When they also, they also really, I think they fundamentally know they want their bass to be like out front. And Duff's, Duff is so good as a bassist uh, uh, in, in those songs. Even uh, Getty gets washed out. Even you know, though you know Duff doesn't it. give his praise. I'm going to give him a little. Man, he deserves, he's like, he's top tier, right? Duff, man. He's I top think tier. He's, he's got classics. You think Classic he's top bass 10? Licks. Huh? Top 10 basses? Mm, I think he could be in there. I think, I think he, could he could be. Could. Top he's five? so good. He is so good, I don't good, know about bro. top five. Dun, 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 dun. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. He's top, I think he could be in top 10. He's really good. But, um, but I was even saying, <laughs> I think Getty even gets washed out every now and then. And he'll be killing it. With that it. jazz. He's got a jazz, he'll right? He'll be what killing it, it but I'll, I'll be like, I can't hear him. Is it a jazz bass? That was, what his is called, I think? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, sometimes you can't hear him very well. Nah. And no, he'll, and and he'll so be going good. crazy. He'll be going crazy. I'm like, I can't hear him. <laughs> yeah, I like when the bass really cuts through. So this one, I think they should have did that a little bit more. But overall, banging track. I think it deserves the fire extinguisher, too. For certain. For certain. Fire extinguisher. For certain. Yeah. All right, well, there you guys go. You wanted it, and obviously it had to get... Oh, it had to happen. But why? Why? Tell us in the comments. Is this thing titled Black Dog? Why is it called Black why? Dog? It should what be called that? Woman. You know how many times he says, Hey, hey, woman? Well, that's hey, the, hey, woman. That's the title of the song. He's, that would be way better. It would be. We Black just Dog's retitled a it. Good name. Hey, hey, woman would have been the better title. Black Dog is a <clears throat> weird name. Dude, I listened. I could, uh, Unless... Unless they were in a studio and a black dog was in there when they were recording and they felt like it was a good luck charm, so they call it Black Dog. I mean, dude, there's got to be a story why you call that song Black Dog. And the lyrics. And Black Dog. The lyrics. There's a couple things with the lyrics. One is, I don't think they they do not tell a story. I don't think. Maybe if you read them, they might. But listening to the song, there is not a cohesive message except for, I don't want to be around no wayward woman, maybe. But he says something in there. How many of y'all ever knew when he does that? No, we know, we know, we know, we know. I bet you a lot of people couldn't understand what he said in that part. Like, as much as you guys love this song, how long did it take you to learn what he says in that one part? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Because when you hear it, it's like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, me now. And you're like, bro, did he speak English right there? I want to know how Jimmy. And the band came up with the Oh my god. Because when it stops, when it stops, that's the best that's almost the best part is when it and it stops and it's fading out. It does. It is one of the best parts. And then it comes back in. That's better than it coming in, is it fading out? It sounds too good. That's the part where every part of the riff is like the best part. Arguably. It really is. It Even really the is. ending when it's fade, because then it fades out, and as it's fading out, you get Robert coming in singing a cappella up in here. He's singing high on this one, man, dude. <clears throat> they're all they're all at this their a game. Everybody just killed it, and, and I'm so is... glad they didn't clean up or hire some studio mixer that ruined their sound. Use your illusion, you know. Get a get a use your illusion type yeah, album. Yeah, yeah. Nah, they didn't do that. No. No, it's it's filthy rock super, and roll. Super, super produced, you know. Not this one. No, I loved. I unless loved it. unless they worked really, really hard to make it sound like this raw and it bad. had to be intentional. It had to be intentional. To, to like have maybe that. they went really out of their way in the mixing to make it sound bad. I don't yeah, know. Like Jimmy came in and was like, so Look, maybe I got there my was, first amp out of the attic. We're going to use maybe this. Maybe there was <laughs> as much work as Use Your Illusion producing to create, it to that. make it sound bad like this you know Even, although it sounds incredible but you know what i mean but name one band on their second or third album that regressed in their sound and their mixing yeah name one that did that maybe chili peppers new um album with all that distortion what was that album that just that we like so the much unlimited love album. if you guys haven't heard uh chili peppers unlimited love album go listen to it Man, dude, freak, the, 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 the guitar does so much reverb work in it. It is in, in distortion. You could tell that they worked hard you know, to do that. But it's clean. It's still there's clean. One, there's one mixing that I know that's pretty bad. Is if Metallica's, you know, it's good mixing, good mixing, good mixing. Right. Then you get And Justice For All, which is just treble. And everybody has very divided opinions. So that mixing, fundamentally, 
It's garbage. Okay, but so I that's, love so the that's an example of, of, yeah. of, well, we, we know that they all experiment. Oh, and St. Anger from them is horrendous. I'm, I played you some. Remember but you know that when, terrible album. The thing is, whenever a band has 22 albums, that's yeah. not fair because they've tried everything. I'm that's talking true. about a band who's got five albums. I'm talking about a band that's just got a couple albums. I mean, most of them, most of like Green Day. Green Day's got a lot of albums, but don't they don't they go from they really get more distorted, and more and more clean, produced, clean, 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 clean no clean, mistakes, clean, mopping it all up. <laughs> um, I mean, there's bands that change their sound, like Beatles. You know, went from the basic stuff to like uh, Sgt. Pepper's, but it's still produced. But there's so what, there's did go from a clean sound. What the early was so clean, and then they go really, really experimental and, Weird and stuff. distorted. Yeah, like yeah. the White Album. That stuff is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. That's Black Dog right there. Tell us why it is named that and it's not called Hey Hey Woman. I think that would have been a way better title, sounds better, looks better, fits the song better. But hey, maybe if you tell me why Black Dog, that's the name, maybe like, you know, that's an undeniable name. Maybe, maybe or, or have you ever heard them have a different title, but they went with Black Dog and you think they were previous hey, title Hey Hey Woman would have been such a good title. Imagine said Hey Hey Woman up there. That would I be think so that's so cool. much better. That would be way I better. Mean, I'm, I'm biased to our opinion, but Ooh, I think that's way better. That would have bumped the song up another point. I think so. That's that good of a title. It is. Mm. Man, that's its only flaw. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's title. Man. <laughs> mm. All right, well. Tell us what to react to next time. In the comments section, yes. And if you see anybody suggesting uh, something down there, you agree with them, give them a like because... That'll help us bump up that choice. Yeah, they'll probably they'll have a better chance of being picked. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one. And we're out. Peace.